What's this? We've just seen a new trailer for updates coming to Hi-Fi Rush called Arcade Challenge Update. No joke, there's literally exclamation points in there. That's not just me. So here to explain that and more about the update is game director John Johannes. Welcome to Showcase Extended, John. Really glad to be here. Exclamation points? They have to be in there. Yeah. It feels It's style. It's yeah. style. Yeah. It's a style thing. Well, Hi-Fi Rush is such a stylish game in general. I think that's one of the things that people really excitedly pointed out when we shadow dropped the game in the developer direct earlier this year. But making a brand new IP is always a bit of a risk. Your studio is known for kind of scarier games like The Evil Within and Ghostwire Tokyo. Can't deny that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this type of game is something I just always wanted to make personally. And I just thought music and action work so well together. And after I had finished working on The Evil Within 2, it just felt like the right time to try something new. And our studio has always been about just making fun games. It doesn't have to be about a certain genre. We're not about making one specific thing. And fortunately, there's plenty more of that content to come because we just saw an absolutely jam-packed trailer. So I'd love for your help in breaking down all the details, all the stuff going into this update. Sure. There's a lot, so bear with me. Everything in this mode is unlockable once you've finished the game, and you'll unlock an arcade cabinet in your hideout. And by accessing it, you get two new modes. One is called BPM Rush Mode, which takes the gameplay up to like higher speeds than we've ever done in the main game. And the other is called Power Up Tower Up, which is a new sort of randomized spin on the rhythm tower mode that we had in the original game. And included in this mode are five new original songs to play to, as well as two brand new enemies. And then there's special attacks and this whole meta system for unlocking upgrades and rewards. And that's what I can think of right now. <laughs> I love that there's so much to, to unpack there, but let's rewind. Let's talk about just BPM Rush for now. Sure. It was described in the trailer as effectively Hi-Fi Rush's equivalent of a turbo mode. Can you explain that a little bit more? Yeah, early on, the team was like, how fast can we go? And in the game, we kind of settled at, um, you know, about a max 160 BPM. But this mode really takes it up to 200 BPM. But we sort of ease you in there. It's a gradual upgrade until it eventually gets so fast, you just got to sort of think on your feet and naturally react to the rhythm in, in the combat of the game. I personally love that there's a lot of accessibility settings in the game too. It makes it so that you can adjust the game to your own comfort level. But this is a post game challenge. It's meant for when you've gotten into the rhythm of the game. So I'm curious if you have any pointers on as far as how to tackle that challenge. As an action game, I think a lot of people want that sort of next level challenge, another way to use their abilities in a new type of environment. This mode does that by putting you at the high speed. But we also have multiple difficulties. We have an easy mode for people who want to experience what that's like but maybe are not in tune with that sort of high difficulty that's accompanied with this stuff. But then we have a casual normal mode as well. And then we have, after beating those modes, we can unlock an EX mode, which takes up to a hard level where damage is multiplied and keeps you at that high BPM throughout the entire time. But there already was a post-game challenge when Hi-Fi Rush launched. It was the Rhythm Tower mode. You mentioned that briefly earlier. That's the one where you face just increasingly difficult combat. So how has that evolved with the Power Up Tower Up mode? So the Rhythm Tower mode was kind of like a very curated experience. And while it was very challenging, you can prepare, go in and sort of customize your character, know what you're getting into. And in this mode, we flip it to the almost opposite end. Chai starts off downgraded. We actually remove all your abilities and you have to earn them back by fighting waves of randomized enemy sets. 
And after every wave of enemies, you get to choose from a series of power-ups that can gradually increase your stats. Each of these upgrades comes with either bonus or negative modifiers as well to the gameplay, so you can take more risks or less risks depending on which upgrades you pick. And again, those upgrades are randomized each level, so you really kind of have to have an understanding of the systems and not quite master them, but have a good grasp if you want to go in and, and come out on top. Well, as I mentioned earlier, it was a really packed trailer. There was a lot of information in there. It's a chonky update. So what else have you got for us? Because I feel like there's more on the table there. Yeah, so by playing in the two modes, you unlock these rewards through so these challenges that are connected to these two modes. And in those rewards are things like accessories for Chai and new costumes for Chai 808, and even as well as fan favorite Corsica. We have new modes for the photo mode as well. Things like new filters. We have uh, new poses for the characters. We have stickers that you can place on the photos now. And then there are some extra hidden secrets that we don't want to give away right now, which, uh, as you know from our game, we like to hide in there and we like people to find, which is always fun. And then, in conjunction with this release, we're also releasing a separate uh, costume pack, which is a kind of take on what the characters would look like if maybe this game took place in a different time period. Ooh, a little tease. I like yes, that. Yes, and there's some really fun, fun-looking stuff in there, so... Well, thank you again so much for coming out all the way from Japan to Showcase Extended, John. I'm super glad to be here. That's all we have to share about the new update for Tango Gameworks' Hi-Fi Rush coming soon. Now